Hi guys and welcome to another YouTube video. Today we're in the city of Liverpool and this building here is the school that Paul McCartney attended. McCartney's representatives got in touch with Liverpool City Council and they said to Liverpool City Council what's your plans for the Liverpool Institute and they said it's for sale yeah Paul McCartney's representative said how much they said I think it was round about 10 million got in touch with Paul McCartney and they said Paul the school is for sale it's worth 10 million pounds Paul said phone back so Paul McCartney bought that building there in 1996 and he opens it up in 1998 as the Liverpool Institute on Performing Arts and Performing Arts Group. Wherever Paul is in the world, on graduation day, Paul McCartney flies into Liverpool on his private jet, yeah, comes down to the college, the Arts College, yeah, the uh, Institute, and on graduation day, Paul McCartney, he hands the scrolls out, and he shakes the hands of everyone that graduates from his college. So Paul McCartney has put money back into this city yeah, by buying this, and he owns this now as well. This is now a performing arts school as well. And there you go, Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney's 80 on the 18th of June. I think it's Paul McCartney's guitar, it looks like. It has names on it. There you are. Sir Paul McCartney. Oh. Let's have a look. But it is stone. Yep. And we've got Stuart Sutcliffe. Yeah, all these big names here. George. Is it Howard? Howard? Yep, you've got uh, LIPA MFW. So, quite a lot of names in here. And this is all in the heart of Liverpool. So we are basically now in Liverpool centre, shopping centre. Thank you. 
Yes, guys, so we're in the Caribbean restaurant um, in Liverpool, just looking at the menu there. This is absolutely amazing. You, you cannot go to a Caribbean restaurant without sweet chilli sauce. This is what makes the meal the meal. But in Manchester, I've not really seen that, you know, with the sweet chilli sauce on the table. I mean, correct me guys, I could be wrong. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I just couldn't wait for the food because I was absolutely starving. And I was like, come on, food, where are you? Do my little dance there, but you know, I'm like, food, food. Oh, here it is, finally the food came. This is Callaloo there. So if you don't know what Callaloo is, go and research it. <laughs> it's nice, that's all I can say. And then here is uh, rice and peas and, um, oxtail so you might think that sounds a bit weird but no it's not it's just yeah it's really nice anyway so as you can see there uh, it's a caribbean specialty and the food was really delicious it actually tasted better than the ones that you get in manchester and i'm not going to lie when i say that i think that the food there was absolutely i've got to say amazing and the coleslaw was made from fresh, from, I can't even speak now, the coleslaw was made from fresh uh, uh, vegetables, so it wasn't pre-packaged or anything. So yeah, it was ace, ace. So overall, Liverpool was absolutely amazing and the sights that you actually get to see there, you don't expect to see them. And just to see the Institution of Arts where Paul McCartney actually attended, that's, that's amazing to be honest and to have that history still there is, is wonderful. Yeah guys, so thanks for watching and I'll hope to see you in the next one.